ladies and gentlemen, these two brothers that you are looking at, Matthew and Michael Lemelin, chased down three black teens and were yelling racial slurs. So this came out in the New York Post, June 22nd, 2020, men accused of chasing black teens, yelling racial slurs at them. So this is Connecticut. So, you know, it just goes to show you, it doesn't matter where you are in this country, racism is alive and well. Two Connecticut men are accused of chasing down three teens on bikes and yelling racial slurs at them early Sunday morning, a report said. Matthew Lemelin, 27, and 28-year-old Michael Lemelin were both arrested and charged following the alleged racially motivated encounter about 1.30 a.m. on Main Street, Manchester, NBC, Connecticut reported. The teens told police the suspects, who are white, ran the kids off the road and nearly hit them with their car as the kids rode to a gas station in town. One of the men also allegedly got out of the car and chased after the boys, they told police. There's no doubt in my mind that if they got their hands on one of these little boys, they were going to hurt them. Christina Torres, the mother of one of the teens, told the news outlet. The men got into their truck and chased down our children. We got to stand together because this could have been very different. I could have woken up Sunday morning with my child dead, Torres tearfully said. Shortly after the incident, cops located the suspect's vehicle in a nearby driveway. Nobody answered the door initially, but cops were later able to obtain arrest warrants. Both men were charged with risk of injury to a minor, second degree reckless endangerment, and second degree breach of peace. Matthew is also facing a charge of intimidation based on bigotry and bias. So these guys are just a problem in that area. You know, I'm glad these teens are okay and they did not get severely hurt because, you know, with these incidents on the rise and we are seeing the amount of people being shot and lynched in this country, you know, it, it is just a horrible climate. America always wanted to portray itself as a safe place, but America is a very, very dangerous place. It really is. You know, they have created this fairy tale about the American dream, but you know, look, there's 46 million people unemployed in this country. I don't think they're seeing this American dream anymore. I don't believe many people didn't see it in the first place. But, you know, this is how they sold this place. They made it seem like the streets were paved in gold and it was just a great place to be. It's not so great, you know. And the thing is, I have met immigrants from other countries and I asked them, I said, be honest, what do you think of America? And they're like, eh, it kind of sucks. It's not what I thought it would be. It's not. It's not. You know, this is what happens in America more frequently than unfrequently. And it's a shame. But now the tides are turning. And see, people like this, they feel it. They know things are changing. So they're going to ramp up on the racism. It's not going to do them any good. You know, change is always by force. It is. And it's going to be by force whether people in this country like it or not. Things are changing. And it's changing very rapidly, too. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. 
and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.